Hello everybody, we're going to talk about some examples here of how to find the lateral surface area of pyramids. Now the formula we're going to use to guide us is L equals one half P times lowercase L. The P stands for perimeter of the base, the L stands for the slant height. Now for number one, have one half, eight, eight, and eight. It's the perimeter of the base makes twenty-four. The slant height here is given fifteen. One half of twenty-four times fifteen is one hundred and eighty square centimeters. Now that is just the lateral surface area. We're not including the base. For number two, we'll go through it again. One half perimeter of the base times the slant height. The slant height is 10. To get the perimeter of the base, 3.5 times 4 that gives us 14. Putting all this together, 1 half times 14 times 10, 70 square feet. Okay, number 3, we have a pentagon for the base. That means the perimeter is 100 slant height is 42. One half of 42 times 100 is 2100 square meters. Number four, one half perimeter of the base, six, six, and six, 24. Slant height, okay, we've got to do a little bit of work on the slant height. Um, this distance right here well, what we have is a right triangle. I'm just going to put this on its side here. Okay, and I know this the one side of it is 6. This is cutting in half, so we know that half is 3. They're telling us this right here is 60 degrees. I know this is then 30 degrees. We've got a 30, 60, 90 triangle here. Short leg is 3. The long leg is 3. Radical 3. That is our slant height, 3 radical 3. All this in the calculator will yield 62.4 square feet. Okay, for number 5, we have a pentagon again. 1 half times the perimeter, 18 times 5 is 90. And then I need the slant height, this distance right here. Okay, once again, this is like number 4, we have a Another 60, 30, 60, 90 right triangle. Try to draw it kind of the same way here. I know this is 60. Okay, I know that this half right here is 90. The reason it's, or 9, I should say, the reason it's 9 is because one whole side is 18 and this slant height here is cutting this in half. So if the short side is 9, the long side is 9 radical 3. And that is our slant height. All this in the calculator, 701.5 square inches. Okay, number six, the last one. One half perimeter. It's a hexagonal base. 12 times 6 is 72. We need our slant height. Okay, we're dealing with a triangle once again. Let's focus on this triangle right here. It doesn't look like it, but it is in fact a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Remember in geometry, never go by the picture, just go by the math. All right, half of this is six. Remember 45, 45, 90 triangles, both legs are the same. This is six as well. One half times 72 times six, 216 square yards. And there we are.